Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I'm just getting some equipment ready for my bees this year. And I started off by checking out my stash of wax. So that's about 20 pounds of beeswax that I've been storing up over the next few years. I want to take a couple of old frames and see if I can uh, repurpose them or clean them and reuse them. And I started off with this one. This is a plastic frame. Now, I don't normally buy plastic frames because I don't like them. I find them too flexible. And if you look at this, look at the difficulty I'm having trying to scrape the wax off this frame. It's just like concrete for some reason. And you can see even when I scrape it, the frame itself doesn't come clean. It still sort of retains the the dirtiness and the nastiness that was in that wax so I wouldn't recommend using those plastic frames now this in contrast is a wooden frame that I've got same vintage from the same hive same age and look at how easy the wax comes off of this guy it just comes off in nice easy strips now you can still see here that there is still plenty of dirt left behind in the frames themselves and so I still have plenty of new frames that I can use for, and I'm certainly set up for the next, I'd say, year or two. I could maybe operate up to six hives with brand new frames, but I've always wondered, you know, what I end up doing with these frames. Um, I wondered if I could clean them enough that I'd feel comfortable putting them in the hive. Some people say the bees will clean up this stuff, but I don't feel comfortable putting this much dirt into a hive, right? Um, I think most people say that, you know, once frames get this dirty and this old, you're better not to use them again. And really the only thing you wouldn't be reusing is the actual plastic frame itself, that plastic insert that you see that we're scraping scraping the wax off of. You see the dust coming out. I think that's that's mold that uh, that was starting to form in this in this frame. So another reason why you might not want to recycle these. But in the end I would use the just the wooden part of the frame. I'd probably pop out the plastic insert there and just use the wooden frame and use these frames as honey frames that would just be uh, for pure comb. So honey that you just take right off with the actual comb and wax, because I love that. I've only done that a few times and it is a lot of fun. So here you can see I'm removing the propolis too on the sides. That ended, ended up coming off pretty easily. Even though it was a cold day, I thought the propolis would give me a much harder time, but it came off pretty much in chunks a lot easier than the uh, than some of the wax did. So um, then once I got the frames all cleaned up, as clean as they're going to be, I cleaned the tops of them just by sitting them right back in the box and scraping them off. This is a really easy way to do it because the box itself holds on to the frames for you. And again, I'm more or less just testing out the reusability of these frames. I may end up not using them at all. So, uh, but I wanted to know by cleaning them first and then finding out for myself. Now we're looking at the actual box itself and uh, cleaning that box is pretty important as well. Now I can tell you, I hope the camera does justice as far as looking in, but first you clean the propolis off the sides because this is where the, uh, the bees have to seal it. And if you're using a, a hive tool like I am here, just make sure your off hand is never in the way of that blade because that will cut you to a number of stitches for sure. And here's a closer look. Yeah, I guess it does. The camera did do a pretty good job of catching how caked the propolis is on the inside of the box. And the reason why it's really important to get all that off or clean it every now and then is that it actually cakes on so much that it shrinks the dimensions of your box. So what will end up happening is your frames will end up not being able to fit inside that box. And it'll cause you lots of grief when you're in the middle of, you know, swapping out a frame and you go to put it back in and it doesn't fit. So to avoid that every year, make sure when you're starting off with a, with a box that you're repurposing or reusing, make sure you give it a really good clean. Look at this side now and see how clean that edge is. Still not perfect, but we've definitely removed at least like, you know, I'd say an eighth or more of an inch of crud and to compare it. You can look at the other side here, which I haven't cleaned yet, and look at how much crud is on that. You can just see what I mean about the box actually getting smaller. And even the box won't, the frames won't fit vertically either. They'll stick up quite a bit if you let that propolis sit there. So this is after I've cleaned both sides now, and you can look at the difference it's made. You can see the edges are a lot cleaner. 
and it'll be a lot easier for you to drop the frames in. Also clean up the inside of the box. There's a bunch of propolis and a bunch of burr comb sitting there on the inside. That's all clean now and that box is ready to go. Now here's the inner lead that I have and I'm wondering if you know experienced beekeepers can help me out with a question that I have here. I am considering going with, so this is a hard inner lid, right? And it has an orientation that you that you use depending on the season and what you're doing with the bees. It can be one side up or the other side up. I'm considering putting like a, another soft lid underneath this, which would be not, not much more than a strip of uh, a piece of vinyl or something like that, that acts as an inner lid, which actually sits on top of the frames. And the reason for that is you see all this burr comb that I'm cleaning off the inner part of the lid. Well, this lid wasn't bad, but sometimes bees can build burr comb up here like with every frame. So it would be completely covered with burr comb that it, when you open the lid, it tears off their comb and exposes either um, larva or honey or both. And it really puts them in, in kind of a, a tizzy when you do that. So when you put the, uh, the soft inner lid on, it sits right on top of the frames and then they don't, they're not able to build up this uh, burr comb up to your inner lid. I think maybe the downside is that with, with this inner lid, they are, the bees are able to move over top of the frames back and forth. When you put on that soft lid, it sits right on top of the frame. So they cannot move that easily. They, they can only switch from frame to frame by going around the sides or around the bottom. So anybody that has experience with that, let me know. I may just experiment with one hive on that and see if it's any better than the way I'm doing it now. So last thing I tried to do here was just see what it would be like to power wash these frames. And instead of pulling out my power washer because it's still a little on the uh, chilly side, I just went to the, the local car wash and put in a couple bucks and experimented with their washer because yeah, I just didn't want to bother doing mine if it wasn't going to work and it may work. So this actually did not do a very good job on the frames at all. It took off a lot of dirt and a lot of wax, but I think maybe with my pressure washer, washer, which is probably twice as strong as this one, maybe it would work better. I'm still going to try that out to see if it does a, an acceptable job to clean up those frames. One thing it did do is it did do a good job uh, cleaning that bottom board. As you can see right here, that bottom board came out nice and clean. One thing I didn't do, though, was wear protective clothing. I should have worn uh, my chest waders for this because this is I ended up being soaked and completely covered in wax after this job. So this is a look at uh, more or less at the cleanup that I did. Um, what you're seeing here is probably about 30 percent of uh, of all the stuff that I've got, the bee stuff. And uh, I really just needed to get ready to start up two hives and feed two hives. But uh, I also want to do a bit of an inventory and see how much I had. And uh, I probably still have enough to operate six to seven hives, uh, two double deeps along with um, a couple of medium for uh, honey, honey supers. So here are some of my brand new frames, which is what I will be using. I won't be using those old ones. Um, and I did have them in inventory, but they got a little dirty just from debris in my shed there. And uh, I cleaned them up. I really like these frames, these wooden frames with plastic inserts because they're incredibly durable. And uh, the plastic insert there the, that you see the, uh, the honeycomb is already on there is covered in wax. It's covered in a light film of wax. So they say that that helps the bees, helps induce them into building it out quicker. And they really do. Like once you put it in within a couple of days, they're already building out comb. Now here's the bottom board that I use. It is a screen board. So there's a screen bottom and you see it's got a hole in it. And that's not acceptable, right? You cannot go with a hole like that because that screening is what keeps things like rats and mice out of your hive. And certainly they'll get in with a hole that big. So here's the setup. Um, not finalized yet as far as their location but i am going to use those uh, cement blocks uh, instead of pallets i had pallets before and i found the pallets are very awkward to walk around and work around so i'm just going to go with those cement blocks this year because it's much easier to get all around the hive and here's more or less the configuration except for that inner lid that inner lid should actually be right above the frames but again i'm just kind of positioning them to uh, to have them roughly where they're going to be I'm going to probably get four or five frame nukes. So each box, each brood box needs six more frames. That's why there are six frames there ready to go. And you can see that bottom board, the, the screen is there. And then the actual board 
um, is there as well until the weather gets warm. Then you remove that board by sliding it out and, uh, and that is your beehive. So that's my setup so far. I uh, still have a video to come to show my uh, plan for the actual location. So uh, stick with me, like, and subscribe if you like, and talk to you soon. 40 Honeybee.